So at this point, Lex and I were doing our own thing. We're actually generating revenue for the site. We're traveling to races. We seem to have a really good flow. We were doing very well. We were very excited. We were working towards the following year and even the year after that. We had a kind of a good thing going. Um, and bringing on a partner wasn't really something that we were concentrating on. We started making it in business and financially and in good relationships with people all across the industry. Over the years I've been teaching uh, guys in trucks and stuff and so the guys at, at Superlight called me up and said, hey, we want you to do a class. So I went up to Reno and they had a couple different guys there. Introduce, you know, in comes Matt Cook was one of the drivers. So March of 2011, I find myself racing short course trucks, not having raced really anything in my entire life. I was new to the sport and quite frankly I just wasn't doing very well. And the friends of mine up at the Superlight program in the Lucas Oil Series had you know, suggested that I come up to Reno where they have a private track and get some training. And they talked to me about Ricky Johnson coming up and personally helping me you know, become a better driver. And, and honestly, at the time, um, I, I didn't even know who Ricky Johnson was. I mean, I kind of heard the name before, but I didn't know who he was. And then it turns out he's this, you know, seven-time Supercross champion or six or eight-time, I don't know, and he's been a Pro 4 champion before in the short course. And so, obviously, this guy knows how to race, and, and he, uh, you know, spent a lot of time with me that day trying to teach me you know, just the dynamics of the truck and how the truck works and, and basically how to drive. I talked with him and helped instruct him a little bit. So I spent a full day with RJ up in Reno at the track. You know, things went well. We went to In-N-Out Burger, we got some food, and I said, hey, you want to just hitch a ride with me back to Orange County? And he said, hey, do you need a, do you want a flight home? You know, I'm, I'm like, sure, you know, what do you got? And he's like, well, we got my plane here. So we, we got on the plane, flew down to Orange County. We're sitting on a private jet flying home and I just said well you know I see what you want to do you know obviously you're you know a guy who's done well I don't exactly know what you've done but you want to be a driver I'm a driver you know maybe we can we, we you know mix and match some stuff and basically the conversation at that point with me and RJ went from racing trucks and trying to help me become a better driver to getting some sort of business going I think he, he, you know, realized real quick that, hey, maybe this guy is somebody I can, you know, partner with or leverage or get money out of or whatever he thought. He thought, hey, there's an opportunity here for me. So over the next couple of weeks, we started talking about opportunities and possibilities of things to do. And we talked about me helping him with his military program, us starting a new school, us building an off-road track at Paula. We talked about building a Supercross team. We talked about doing content, filming content, selling content. We, we, I mean, we talked about everything under the sun. And then he said, well, I want to do all of these different things. And what I need, though, is I need a media outlet. My background is internet. And I was really looking for a media platform. Because at any level of business with the trucks or the content or the schools, I needed an outlet to push content so that I can monetize that. And, you know, you got, at some point, you've got to turn people into dollars. So I had told Ricky that, and I told him, hey, we need, we need a media content, and, and is, you know, what's out there is there's a race desert, there's trans world, there's all these different things. Should we create our own? Is there an opportunity maybe to buy something? I'm like, well, I, you know, I do. I'm one of the owners of supercross.com. And he's like, what? And I'm like, yeah. It was sort of a, oh, by the way. And I remember in the meeting, he was like, well, I own supercross.com. I was like, supercross.com, you own it? Come on. And he's like, no, yeah, we've had it for like 15 years. Um, Lux runs it. And I was like, I mean, that sounds like a pretty good domain. And I said, the, 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 the governing body of supercross doesn't own supercross.com. He was like, nope, we've, you know, we've had it for a long time. You know, at that point, he didn't get into me with all the hair that was around that. Um, so, I mean, I like kind of had a laser focus on supercross.com and all this other stuff was just kind of ancillary at the time. And so I said, hey, I need, let's, let's pursue that right away. Do you want to partner on that? Do you want me to help you with that? Because we could use that media platform as basically the hub to put anything else we wanted around that 
because I'm sure it already has traffic. I'm sure there's always an affinity to that brand. We can go, we can monetize it. So what happened was he thought, let's talk to Lex. So I called Lex up. Lex was trying to do some other different things with, with, uh, with some other, with other potential buyers and things like that. Lex and I actually had a system down and it was working. And for the first time in a long time, we were actually generating pretty good revenue for supercross.com. So the idea of bringing in a partner wasn't really something that we were anxious to get into again. Get a call from Rick, he wants me to meet somebody. You kind of think, hey, we're really happy with the program we have, but always willing to listen and, and uh, hear what somebody has to say. He had told me, hey, let me talk to Lex, let me set up a meeting, you gotta meet him, I'll bring him into your office, and we'll talk about what the opportunity is. He said, basically that, he thought that at any level there was a way for me to come in and buy it, to partner with him, to leverage it, to license it, to do whatever we needed to do, to have that asset so that we could, you know, basically execute on all the other things that we wanted to do um, around supercross.com. And so we looked at, well, what could this be? The first meeting was Matt, Rick, and I, and it was very casual. We talked about a lot of things. We talked about the web, we talked about film, we talked about different opportunities and directions. And basically, it was just trying to get to know each other. And uh, we had that initial meeting. It probably lasted about an hour. I explained to Lex kind of some of our background, showed him our operation, our people, what we did, uh, asked him real few questions on what he was doing with the domain, how he was monetizing it, what kind of traffic he was getting, et cetera. So it was a real surface level type meeting. The outcome of that was Matt said, come to a, a meeting we're gonna have and we're just gonna drill down on all the opportunities with supercross.com. And then after that point, we, I did my own research on the domain, went back into my analytics tools and, and things that, I've, that I have access to to see what kind of traffic was going to the domain. Did a lot of research and, and, and thought for sure this is something that, that we needed to, to partner with or buy or get involved with because I thought there was money in it.